Hey, great diggers. We're going to be talking about Dwayne Two Dogs books next Final Jeopardy. Hey, Crate Diggers. Today we are talking books, and we are talking about the books of Dwayne Tudal. And the first one is Prince and the Purple Rain Area Era Studio Sessions, 1983 to 84. And the other one is Prince and the Parade and Sign Oh the Times Era Studio Sessions, 1985-1986. Now, uh, let me tell you that when I first saw this book in the bookstore uh, a few years ago, I did not want to get it because it was seemingly to be about Purple Rain. However, when I did get the opportunity to get the audiobook, I went ahead and listened to it, and it is the best book that I have read regarding Prince ever. This book goes step by step through each of Prince's studio sessions and his um, his concerts from 1983, which is shortly after I became a fan, through 1984, and it is very interesting if you are a Prince fan because it also. Um, he has interviews with different people who were there at the time, band members, uh, his uh, engineers, Peggy McCleary and uh, Susan Rogers, where he was recording both at Sunset Studios in Los Angeles and at his home in uh, near Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, he talks to these people not only about uh, the sessions and what he was playing at the time, how he was coming up with the songs and uh, who he was using for background vocals and it, all of those types of things. But the other little personal uh, idiosyncrasies about him sleeping in the studio, um, wanting to play games to let off a little stress, basketball um, or whatever. Uh, who he was consulting about, whether uh, he liked the songs or didn't like the songs. Um, and it goes in chronological order in painstaking detail. Um, and I absolutely loved it because it was not just about Purple Rain. So after I had got the uh, audiobook and listened to it, then I decided that I wanted to have the hard copy of it. And thankfully at the time, I was able to order both the hard copy of this, uh, the Purple Rain era, and at the same time, I was able to get the sign O oh, the Times um, studio sessions. Now I pre-ordered it and got them both at the same time. And so they came audio, uh, autographed by Dwayne Tudal. And so let me see if I can show it to you. He has autographed it there. It says uh, to Makila, you are, what does it say? You are a true funk soldier, which is really nice. And I dropped the bookmark. Okay, here's the bookmark that came in it. And also there was a certificate of authenticity, which of course I bent and put in there. So that is the certificate. When I pre-ordered the, uh, the second book, um, I also received a certificate of authenticity with it with this one, The Sign All the Times, which has just come out. So that's the certificate. And then it is also autographed and it has a bookmark in it. And it says to uh, Makila Harris, uh, this is what it's like in the dream factory. And this is book number 626. 
and there is where it is autographed. So I am really happy about that. Also in the acknowledgements in the back, uh, it does have an acknowledgement to all of the people who pre-ordered uh, and then acknowledgements to all of the people who assisted. And I am uh, on Mr. Tudal's Facebook uh, page where he sometimes would over the years ask questions. Does anybody know this or does anybody uh, have a copy of a certain magazine? Uh, things like that. And so he acknowledges all the people who are in the band, of course, and um, people who had podcasts and different things. And then at the end, he acknowledges the people who pre-ordered. And so let me see if I can find my name in here. I probably should have figured that out before. Yep, here I am. Let me see. <laughs> I don't expect you to really see it. <laughs> but, but but take my word for it. My name is in there. So I am so honored to have uh, my name in there acknowledged as one of the people who uh, contributed early so that this book could come to be. Um, and it's, it's really um, special. You feel like you're part of something really big. Now, I have not read this book yet. Uh, let me see what the date is on the the date here that he signed it was June seventh, uh, twenty one. So that was approximately a month ago, and so I received it uh, in the mail while I was on vacation. So now I'm back, and uh, I was absolutely thrilled to get it, and uh, I have not read it yet, and I probably will not read this book because I'm an audiobook person. However, I expect for it to be just as good or better than the last one. The last one, uh, the foreword was done by Questlove. And for this one, the foreword was done by Elton John. So uh, there, these ain't no schmucks um, contributing to this work. So I am um, really excited to get into it when it goes on audiobook. And I did receive word uh, from Dwayne Tudal that it will eventually be on uh, audiobook. Hopefully, uh, I believe he said January. And uh, I am totally able to wait. I doubt that I will get into just uh, reading this book but I might, I might, because uh, I am very interested in this particular time. I actually love this time, but let me uh, read my favorite part of this book, uh, which is the end, which um, ends in December, 1984. And it says, it, it gives you the synopsis basically of what Prince did. And it says, over the last two years, Prince appeared on stage at least 118 times and sold more than 11 million albums, not including more than 1.5 million in sales for his associate artists. He had written and recorded between 100 and 150 songs, many of which would be divided among albums by Sheila E., The Family, The Time, and Apollonia 6, and singles for The Bangles, Stevie Nicks, and Sheena Easton. That is, you know what? They call James Brown the hardest working man in show business. I don't know. Um, that's a lot of songs to record in 24 months. So um, this book goes through each one and I believe that uh, the next book will as well. I'm really uh, excited to get into it and I know that a lot of people already have. If you have already gotten into these Dwayne Tudal books and you have already um, read them, then I would love to hear your comments about what you thought and what 
uh, stood out to you the most in these uh, books and I may do a review after I finish uh, the sign all the times so just let me know I'm Akilah Sunrise and this is Vinyl Jeopardy these are my records <laughs>